This is Entrepreneurship Lesson 2, Development of Business Plan. For this lesson, ito yung dapat nating matutunan. We should recognize a potential market. This is based of the curriculum guide ng Entrepreneurship for Senior High School. What is a market? A market is a place where buyers and sellers can meet to facilitate the exchange or transactions of goods and services. Markets can be physical like a retail outlet or virtual like an e-retailer or even e-store. Market establish the prices of goods and services that are determined by the supply and demand. Okay, so dahil na, na discuss doon yung goods and services, so tingnan natin ang kanyang meaning and classification. Goods are tangible objects that can be bought. So pwede natin siyang bilhin. A good is anything you can find in a grocery store, a farmer's market, shopping mall, home improvement store, or any other businesses. Prices of goods are largely, largely de uh, determined by the supply and the demand of the economy. Pag sinabi natin kasing goods, dapat ito yung mga bagay na nabibili natin na pwede natin hawakan kaya nga tangible. So marami siya, syempre yung mga pag pwedeng pagkain, pwedeng damit, pwedeng sasakyan, anything na pwedeng hawakan. That is goods. And there are four types of goods. We have the private, common, club, or public goods. Okay, let's go with the first one, the private goods. A private goods are ex excludable, ibig sabihin hindi siya libre. These are resources limited to only paying customers. So, ito daw ay isang good na hindi siya libre, kailangan siyang bayaran ng isang customer. So, example nito, if someone will, wants to wear a shirt, then that person must buy it. So, ano yung mga example ng private goods? We have fruits, vegetables, yung mga pagkain, cellular phones, television, pag kumain kayo sa isang restaurant, like for example, kahit fast food, coffee from a coffee shop, like in Starbucks, so sasakyan, damit, makeup, at maray pang iba na pwede natin bilhin at mapasa atin siya privately. Now, let's go with the second kind of good, which is the common good. Common goods are non-excludable. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya binabayaran. So, everyone can use them without paying. They are rival, so there is a finite supply that can be used by consumers. So, ibig sabihin, pwede siyang maubos. So, ano yung example ng common goods? So, for example, fresh water. Bakit siya finite? Kasi siyempre pwede siya madumihan. Diba? Pwede maubos din. So, fish for fishing, timber for, from trees, yung mga puno, di ba? Kaya pag nagkaroon ng over, over logging, pwede maubos yung mga puno. Then, even flowers, fresh air, and many like. So, karamihan dito sa mga common goods ay nakikita natin sa nature. Now, we have the club goods. Club goods are the opposite of common goods. They are excludable again, so kailangan pa rin bayaran. So, the consumers must pay for them. They are non rival So, kung kanina yung common goods is rival, kasi nga, pwedeng pagagawan siya ng maraming tao, kasi libre nga eh. Ito naman, non rival So, binabayaran siya, pero hindi siya makakala hindi, hindi makakalaban ng mga consumers. So, there is not a finite supply that can be diminished, hindi siya nauubos. For example, streaming services, like for example, uh, di pa pwede sa Facebook o kaya sabihin natin Netflix, di ba? So, yan. Binabayaran natin siya. Yung Netflix, hindi naman libre eh. So, magazine subscriptions, gym membership, insurance coverage, and the like. So, fine na ano siya. Hindi siya nauubos hanggat may pambayad ka. Di ba? Then, we have the public goods. Public goods are non-excludable. So, libre and non-rival. So, walang agawan din. There are available, they are available to everyone and are not in danger of running out. So for example, ito na nga, hangin. Kanina, di ba, sa, uh, sa common goods is yung fresh air. Kasi nga pwede naman maubos. Pero yung mismong hangin na pwede nating hingahin is public goods siya. 
So, for example, street lights. So, yung mga ilaw sa kalsada, libre naman talaga siya kasi binabayaran naman yan taong bayan, di ba? So, libre siya. Public libraries, pwede natin gamitin. Wildlife, nature, mountains, so pwede natin akitin. Beaches, mga public beach. Education, kung nag-aaral kayo sa private, public schools at maraming pang iba ka pa rin dito. Okay, kung kanina na-discuss natin is goods, now let's go with services. So, services are more of activities. So, they are performed. So, unlike ng goods na nabibili natin siya, tawakan, services is ginagawa. So, they are, number one, sabi dito, intangible. You can't touch it. You cannot manufacture it. And, wala rin siyang makikita natin mga tindahan mismo na mahawakan natin yung bagay na iyon. So, it is perishable. They are performed in the moment and finish when they are over. So, pag ginawa sa'yo, ginagawa sa'yo, andyan yung service. Tapos, pag tapos na, wala na yung service na yan. ba? Diba? And next, it's inconsistent. It is not able to be repeated exactly be between services. So, it changes in time, location, resources, condition, and so on. Hindi siya pare-pareho. For example, pag... Kunyari, nagpagupit ka ng buhok, di ba? Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin na every time lagi ganun ang magiging itsura ng buhok natin kasi nga pwede naman nagbabago, nagbabago yung buhok natin, ganyan. So, pwede siya magbago. For example, uh, iba yung nagupit sa'yo ngayong taon, next, after next month, after two months, three months, what if wala na yung nagupit sa'yo? Iba na yung magiging ano, tagagupit mo. So, for sure, that service na ginawa ng dating nagupit sa'yo will be different from the next person na gugupit sa iyo. Ganun din for example yung mga massage services, 'di ba? Dahil hindi may mga swerte ka na makuha mo pare-parehong parehong uh, therapy sabi natin. Pero the massage magbabago at magbabago din siya kasi syempre yung maaari na sabi natin yung massage therapist mo tumatanda na so maybe yung bigat na kamay niya pwede magbago. So nagiging nang inconsistent. There are three main types of services based on their sector. So, meron tayong business, we have the social, and then we have the personal. The business service is a general term that describes work that supports a business but does not produce a tangible a commodity. These services allows the businesses to operate and best serve its customers. Example nito is for example, banking. So, banking is a business. It's a business na service, di ba? So, tinatago nila yung pera natin. At the same time, pag may mga transaction tayo with regards to finance, andyan dyan sila. Pero wala tayong nakukuhang physical or tangible serve, uh, objects sa kanila. So, technology, uh, technology support or IT, human resource, transportation. Kasi transportation, di ba? Nakakasakay nga tayo sa sakyan. Pero pagkatapos ng pagbaba natin, Wala naman tayo sa sakyan, pinasakay lang tayo. Tanda natin, in transportation service, ang service doon is yung pinasakay. Hindi yung bibigyan tayo ng sasakyan. Diba? Kasi pag binigyan mo ng sasakyan, that will be goods. Kaya because of transportation service, sumakay ka. Tapos after noon, pag nakaabot ka na sa pupuntahan mo, pag baba mo, babayaran mo na sila, din tapos na. Wala ka na ulit sa sasakyan. So, even ganun din. So, may man manufacturing, marketing, security, insurance, ganyan. So, minsan kasi may mga service tayo na ina-outsource natin yung mga trabaho. For, so, businesses pay for these services which keeps them in business. There is no product to keep. As soon as they continue paying for the service, then the service continues. So, for example, uh, janitorial service. ba diba? May mga tao na may business ako pero ayoko magtrabaho, ayoko yung mga employee ko nagtatrabaho, naglilinis ang pub, uh, company ko. So you get uh, janitorial services from another company. So sila yung magbibigay ng trabaho na maglilinis sa company mo, tapos babayaran mo na sila. So wala kang bibili na kahit anong panlinis, ganyan. Sila na bahala doon kasi it's their service. Siyempre pag tapos na yung service nila, di uwi na sila, di tapos na. So Pwede kayo magkaroon ng contract na pwede sabihin natin daily, pwede every month, or may iba dyan, on ko lang. Now, let's go with social service. Social service benefits the society. They are paid by the taxes, so tayo yun, and non-profit organizations. So, mga example nito is the fire service, the police, education, social work, food subsidies, foster care, animal welfare, and the like. 
Then, the personal service. Most business-to-customer service are categorized under personal services. Customers pay money to a business or individual to receive a service in exchange. So, personal siya. For example, a doctor's visit. Kung pupunta ka sa doktor, di ba? Che-check upan ka, bibigyan ka na reseta, and that's it. Personal kasi sa iyo talaga eh. Ganun din sa surgery. Ay yung nasasabi ko, haircuts, mga salon, pedicures, legal advice, so house cleaning, yung kanina lang sinabi ko sa iyo. So, babysitting, therapy sessions, food delivery, and the like. So, personal kasi diretso sa iyo. Diba? Kung titignan nyo kanina, bakit may house cleaning? Kasi, wa, for example, yung ano, may bi, kung babalikan natin yung uh, business services, yung house cleaning service, kung yan may business, kukontakin ko sila, magtatrabaho sila. So, that is a business service. Kasi nga, may bayad yung company, babayaran ko sila. Pero itong personal business, pwede sabihin natin, ah, uh, yung kapitbahay ko, gustong maglabada sa'yo, tatawagan ko siya. Tapos maglalabas siya sa akin, after nang bayaran ko na siya kung magkanong ano, usapan niya ng bayad. So that is personal. House cleaning. So personal siya. Pero kapag we're talking about malaking business, marami na yan eh, na, na nakikita na sa Facebook at sa mga ibang mga, uh, sabi natin mga internet sites, na may kita natin yung company nila, then it will become business service. Pero kung yung mga kilala nyo lang mga labandera, na pupunta na sa inyo, ganyan, maglilinis ang bahay nyo, ganyan. So, personal service yan. Now, let's identify the market problem to be solved or the market uh, need to be met. Okay, now let's go with the entrepreneurial process. So, meron tayong apat na process. Number one, Opportunity spotting and assessment. Mamaya, pag-uusapan natin ito. So, kailangan na hanapin natin kasi if you're going to create a business, lalo na pag gusto yung mag-entrepreneur, kailangan malaman mo kung kailan papasok yung opportunity and you should grab that opportunity. Kaya nga, pag-aaralan nyo kung ano ba nangangailan, kailangan ng isang community, sabi natin. So, pag nakita mo yan, you should try to spot it. Alam mo agad, ay, mukhang mabenta. Ito lang na ngayon, di ba? Ang dami mga nag susulpot ang business kasi magaling sila mag-spot ng opportunity. The next, you should develop a business plan. Yung business plan, actually, makikita yan sa iba't ibang, uh, mag-google lang kayo, makikita kayo ng ano, sample ng business plan. Although, iba-iba ang pagkaka pagkakadesign ng business plan, pero it depends sa inyo kung ano mong susuot sa inyo pagdating sa format ng business plan. Then, ito yung medyo mabigat-bigat. Determining the capital needed. So, kapag maliit na business lang, di maliit ang pera lang kailangan. Pero pag malaki-laking business na gusto mo, medyo malaking capital na kailangan mo. So, pag sabi natin capital, it's more of money. And then, last part is, yun ang mismo, running the business. In scanning the marketing environment, so, meron tayong dilawa. It is the starting point of any venture that involves understanding and knowing the intricacies of the whole environment. Through environmental scanning, entrepreneurs can recognize various opportunities and at the same time, understand thoroughly the area or the arena where the future business will operate. Ito na yung nasa kaninang first part na entrepreneurial process natin is opportunity spotting and assessment. Kailangan kasi may pagsisimulan ka. Musi naman kasi dito, yung iba nagchamba lang tapos gubana, di ba? Kaya kung kayo, magaling kayo sa mga ganun na parang, ay, parang feeling ko gagana yung ganitong business, then try it. Musi naman talaga walang business na simula pa lang is talagang nag-boom agad. Mostly talaga marami dyan talaga magka-fail. Pero sa failure na yan, matututo ka at patututo, tapos makakapag-adjust ka. Now, let's go with the next one. Propose solutions in terms of products and services that will meet the need using techniques on seeking, screening, and seizing opportunities. So, we have the three S. Seeking, screening, and seizing the opportunities. So, Sabi dito, this tree is the framework that most of the promising entrepreneurs use to finally come up with the ultimate product or service suited for specific opportunity. Opportunity is an entrepreneur's business idea that can potentially become 
a commercial product or service in the future. So, opportunity. Tagalog, oportunidad. Kasi nga, minsan lang talaga dumating niya. At pag dumating yung opportunity na yan, you should grab it. So, now punta tayo sa pinakauna, which is opportunity seeking. They have endless curiosity to discover new or different ideas and see whether these ideas will work in the marketplace. So, opportunity seeking eh. Nagahanap ka agad ng opportunity ng business mo or small business mo. Okay, let's go with entrepreneurial ideas. The entrepreneurial process of creating new venture. Creation of entrepreneurial ideas. Creation of entrepreneurial opportunities and opening of entrepreneurial venture. Essentials in entrepreneurial opportunity seeking. So number one, we have, we should have entrepreneurial mind frame. This allows entrepreneur to see things in a very positive and optimistic way in the midst of difficult situation. Being a risk taker, an entrepreneur can find solutions when problem arise. So ito nga siya. Pag sinabi natin entrepreneur mind frame, ito na yung pag-iisip mo na parang handa akong ano, handa akong sumabak sa laban. So kailangan kahit paano risk taker kasi risk naman talaga pagpasok sa business. So handa ka, kung handa kang mangolekta ng pera, handa ka rin dapat mawala ng pera kasi nga it's a risk. Pero syempre, the greater the risk, the greater naman the income kung papasok sa iyo kapag pumatok na ng business mo. Next, entrepreneurial heart flame. Entrepreneurs driven passion, they are attracted to discover satisfaction in the act and process of discovery. Passion is the greatest desire of an entrepreneur to achieve his or her goals. Ito na yung ano, pag sinabi ng heart flame, ito yung parang nagbabaga yung damdamin mo na handa ka lumaban at sumabak sa panibagong yugto ng buhay mo sa pagiging business person. So, it's the passion that will drive you para gawin mo yung dapat mangyari pagdating sa iyong business. Next, entrepreneurial gut game. This refers to the ability of the entrepreneur of being intuitive. Ibig sabihin parang na, na ko na eh. Na, na, parang naramdaman ko na eh. Intuition, di ba, yung pumapasok dito. So, it is also called intuition. Di ba? Mga babae nga magagaling sa ganyan eh. So, the gut game is also means confidence in oneself and the firm believes that everything you can, you aspire can be rich. Kasi naramdaman mo na talaga siya. Gut feeling, sabi nga nila. Okay, sources of opportunities, meron tayong lima. Changes in the environment, technological discovery and advancement, government's trust, programs and policies, and people's interest and past experiences. Four changes in the environment. So, sabi dito, physical environment includes, so pagdating, dito pwede pumasok ang opportunity. So, climate, weather conditions, di ba? Umulan, ganyan, pwede akong magbenta ng payo. O kaya, mainit, pwede akong magbenta ng kakaibang itsura ng pamaypay, sabihin natin yan. Diba? O kaya, electric fan na maliit, handy electric fan. Ayan, pwede natin pasokan yan. Kung magaling kayo mag pwede niyang gawin yan. Na next, natural resources such as minerals, uh, forest, water, and fertile land that occur in nature and can be used for economic gain. Ito na lang, diba? Noon, nung bata pa kami, normal naman na may tubig na nabib. Meron tayong tubig sa bahay. Pero ngayon, may tubig na na nakabote. And that mineral water is a part of the natural resources na ginawang business. ba? Diba? Next, wildlife includes all mammals, birds, reptile, fish, etc. that live in the wild. Kaya ngayon, pati mga hayop, pwede na rin ibenta. Pero yung iba, hindi na pagbebenta. Sabihin natin, pet grooming, di ba pag pagpapaganda ng mga hayop. Ayan, pwede pumasok sa pag ano, pagbi-business. Ang daming pwedeng pagkakitaan kasi. Okay, societal environments includes various forces like political forces. This includes laws, rules and regulations that govern business practices as well as permits, approvals and licenses necessary to operate the business. So kailangan natin 'yan. Kasi kapag gusto mo mag ang business mo, dapat alam mo yung political forces. Next, economic forces. 
such uh, as income level or employment rate. Kasi syempre, pag lumalaki business natin, may chance hindi na ikaw papatakbo nito. Gusto mo may empleyado ka na. Pero syempre, dapat alam mo yung sahod nila. Kasi ba, pwede kang mareklamo. Next, social cultural forces. Customs, lifestyles, and values that characterize a society. So, dapat alam din natin yan. Tapos, ito nga yung ginagamit ng mga karamihan ngayon na tamad lumabas. Technological environment. So, new inventions and technological innovations. Like, for example, may business ako, may product ako. So, ayoko magkaroon ng sariling tindahan. Kasi nga COVID eh, ayokong dumugin ako. Pero, I can sell it online. Diba? So, ayan. So, you're using technological environment. Okay, the, envir uh, the industry environment of the business includes we have competitors, customers, creditors, employees, government, and the supplier. So, dito yung mga para mga personality na nagbimake up ng isang business. <clears throat> the first one we have the competitor. Hindi naman talaga mawawala itong compete, ah, competition. Di ba? So, competition are the forces existing in the industry environment that produce, sell, or render products or services which is sem similar means as iyong business. So, we have direct competitors and indirect competitors. So, pag sinabi natin direct competitors, talagang parehong-pareho yung product or service na in-offer ninyo. Di ba? For example, Jollibee and McDo, those are direct competitors. Kaya kung meron na sa lugar ninyo ganon, naku po, huwag ka na magtitinda or huwag ka na mag-franchise ang another uh, burger chain. Unless, mas mura yung sa'yo at mas maganda yung quality. Di ba? Next, indirect competitors, these are what you call substitute products maaring malayo sa'yo pero pwedeng bilhin siya kapag wala yung product mo diba? o kaya pag, pag hindi masyado for example meron kang nagtitinda ka ng alam mo yung mga burger na buy one take one so may kapitbahay ka nagtinda siya ng fishbowl diba? so hindi kayo magkakompetensya hindi kayo direct competitors kasi magkaiba kayo ng produkto pero maaring dahil mas mura ang fishbowl, baka mas dumugi ng fishbowl niya kisa sa iyong buy one take one na burger. So, nagigi pa rin siyang competition. Hindi nga lang talaga direct, pero indirect kasi nagiging substitute yung product niya pagdating sa iyo. Okay, now let's go with customers. These are the buyers of goods or services produced and rendered by the business. It must be constantly evaluate and study the behavior, taste, preference, inclination, and even future activities of the cost of, uh, customers. So, dapat lagi natin yung tinitingnan. Kasi, kapag masyado ka naging kampante sa business mo, mamaya magugol ka lang, paubusan ng paubos yung customers mo. Kasi, tingnan mo rin kung ano yung pattern. For example, milk tea. Diba? Ang milk tea, pagpasok ng milk tea sa Pilipinas, karami-rami abang nga nagbibilihan. Pero ngayon, tingnan mo yung mga milk tea. Dito sa lugar pala namin, eh, meron ng dalawang nagtitidal ng milk tea. Pero isa nagsara na kasi nga parang walang masyadong bumibili na. Diba? Kasi nga, sa una okay siya, pero pag tagal-tagal, syempre the price itself medyo bigat. Diba? May bigat. Kaya, tingnan nyo kung ano yung ano, taste ng customer nyo. Baka kasi nagbabago na siya pagdating ng panahon. Tapos, malulugi na yung business mo. Now, let's go with creditors. This refers to banks, financial institutions, and financial intermediaries uh, Intermediaries, tama, engage in lending or of money to borrow usually for a fee or charge in the form of interest. So, ito yung utang. Kasi mostly kapag magtatayo ka ng business, for example, gusto kong malaki lang business, but kulang ako ng kapital. Dito na papasok ang creditors na pwede ko mangutang. At pag kumita na ako, pwede ko na silang bayaran. Kaya hindi mo wala din yung creditors lang sa mga malaking, camp, uh, malaking business. Employees, lalo pag medyo malaki-laki na siya, these are the workers of the business who are highly responsible for the productions of goods or delivery or services to the customer. They help ensure the quality and quantity of products or services provided to the customer. So they are the backbone of the business. So dapat maging mabait ka sa kanila. Okay, the government refers to the system or institution that handles the affairs of the particular country. 
So, hindi yan pwede mawala. At saka kukunin natin ang mga business permits. Then, last is the suppliers. This refers to the individual persons or companies that provide the required materials, parts, or services to the, to the business. So, ito yung mga lalapitan mo lagi kasi nga, dito mo kunin yung mga product mo. Kasi wala naman tayong product na talaga ikaw magpuproduce, di ba? Mostly meron kang raw materials na gagamitin mo at pagsasamasamahin mo which will have yung magkakaroon ka na na sabi natin product. Or kung business or service man siya, syempre meron ka pa mga gagamitin mga product para magawa yung uh, service na yan. Kaya kailangan natin pa rin na suppliers, whether it's the mall or maaring ibang business, small business din, but still, importante pa rin ang suppliers. So, what are the criteria in selecting the suppliers? So, syempre, the quality of the goods or services na ipoprovide nila sa'yo. So, terms of payment, lal na kung hulugan or utang. So, stability, kasi mahirap naman na ngayon may pwede sila ibigay sa'yo ng product, tapos next month, wala na pala, nag-close na sila. So, kailangan stable yung company. So, ability to respond to urgent needs. Kasi, what if bigla nag-boom, kailangan muna ng mas additional product. So, siguro doon mo kaya nila mag-provide sa'yo. And then, of course, the proximity of the location. So, sana malapit para mabilis ang delivery. End of part 1. Please see part 2.